streaming, start recording. I think I think we're good. Uh, now I have to find Aaron. Where is he? There he is. Okay. Uh, Aaron, make moderator. Okay, Aaron is now a mod. He, Great. That'll we do. Can start. Okay. Is it is it live? It is live. Holy yeah. shit. Great job. Cool. Um, cool. Is the let me just wait for chat to catch up. I want to know if the volume levels are fine. Uh, my audio needs to go up about uh, like ten percent. Okay, that should be fine. Hello, everyone. Oh, it is me, God. He really, really God. <laughs> All right, hold on, let me pop out this chat so I can see stuff. Okay, volume is fine. We can hear you fine. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. I think that's that's good then. Um. All right. We'll start in a sec. Then I'm just gonna tweet, and then we'll be good to go, and everyone can enjoy this. Please hold the screen, which is just wonderful. Great. I wonder what people think of my unfiltered mic. Do I sound like a baby when I don't have all the bass turned up? Whoa. I get right in their ears, ASMR. Hello. Your fucking audio mixing is <laughs> cancerous at best. What do you mean? My audio mixing is amazing. Uh, no. You you mix the audio as though you're one of those people that thinks the way that you voice act is get like three inches from the microphone. Say that again in English? My brain did not process anything you just said. <laughs> <laughs> I, I said you when you mix your audio, you sound like one of those like amateur voice actors that thinks it's a good idea to get like three inches away from the microphone because it makes their voice sound fuller. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Tweeted. Go retweet and do that that kind of thing. Um, let me close all my porn. Make sure that's all gone. Okay, we are porn free. Correct. Now turn some music on and let's talk about Toyotaro. <laughs> Alright, hold up. Uh, who's that? Oh, that's Masako X. Hey, bud. Wow, didn't even tag me. This is some bullshit! Hey, bud. Oh, yeah, no, I forgot to tag you. Let's make him a mod, too, so at least there are now two people watching the chat. Cool. Uh, Alright, well, let's, let's dive in. I'm going to turn this music off or down. Uh, I'll, let, I'll let chat decide for off or down. <laughs> it's not on, so... Wait, can nobody hear the music? Oh, no, no they can't. Oh, wow, I just me sat here listening to Yamamoto by myself. <laughs> okay. I mean, I don't blame you. That's what I do every single morning. Well, fuck it. No music then, because I really... I, I, I don't even want to fix yeah. that. I haven't used OBS since it was not even OBS Studio. I'm, I'm old really school. I haven't streamed in like 10 years. Anyway... Uh, let's talk. Let's do background. Let's do background. Uh, sure. All right. Cool. So, for anyone who is maybe not aware somehow, Toyotaro is in the middle of a crazy tracing accusation incident right now. It's it's weird to say accusation because of what we're about to cover, but it but to be technical, it is an accusation. So, uh, let's start from the very beginning. I'm just gonna swap to my uh, screen so you guys can see what's happening right now. Uh, let me zoom this in for you. Um, so a couple of days ago, maybe last week even, Toyotaro tweeted this um, sketch, which was pretty much the groundwork for his V-Jump cover that came out on the 21st of May, I think, which was my birthday. Yay! I'm now old, 25. Um, and so a lot of people, well, I say a lot of people, one person in particular, a, uh, a guy called uh, Hare, you can see my outline there, um, he posted this tweet and basically said, if you thought that pose looked familiar, uh, this is why. And he posted a picture of this Captain America pose from, uh, I think it was Captain Marvel issue one or something like that. Uh, yeah, allegation is the word I'm looking for. Thank you, Popo. <laughs> uh, so yeah, he, he posted this and then someone came along and they, they did a comparison. And then I came along and I'll, I'll show you what I did because... Good God, people have been very cruel about this. So <laughs> basically, I, I then came along and I, and I did this. And you've probably seen this around the internet. Um, 
I overlaid the body and I overlaid the hand and I, o I overlaid them independently and I erased this arm for a reason. And it's not the reason that people have been kind of screaming at me for, for like the past uh, few days for some reason. I said, no. he traced the body and hand and slightly rotated the arm beyond the homage for sure. And the reason I said this and the reason I ro removed the uh, arm in the, in the bottom picture is because they don't align and that's for a reason. And I'm going to go over that now. And it doesn't mean that it's not traced. Um, we'll come to that conclusion in a second. It just means that digital tools exist. Photoshop exists and yeah. you can move things around. So I'm going to do a live demo of, of what Toyotaro did just so that we can kind of throw that under the rug and just talk about things freely because I tell you right now, <laughs> people have accused me of altering this, fabricating evidence, trying to start yep. drama. I have a vendetta against Toyotaro apparently, which is mm -hmm. not true. I actually quite like Toyotaro in spite of his issues. So I don't know where people got that from. Anyway, uh, we'll dive in here. So here's the sketch and here is Captain America. <laughs> so if we come in here, I'll zoom this in so you guys can actually see. You can overlay this uh, pretty much exactly. Um, I think the most telling point here, look. So that's, that's pretty much as close as you'll get just overlaying the image itself. What a lot of people tried to do when they saw my image, they went and they tried to line up this hand up here. Um, and then they realized that when or you, the legs. yeah, or the legs. So like they tried to line up this hand, which you can do, and I'll get to that in a sec, but they, they, they would line up this hand and they go, well, nothing else matches. That doesn't make any sense. Or they'd try and line up these legs and they'd be away. No, nothing else works. It doesn't make sense. But what Toyotaro did was he lined up the body first. And you can see that really clearly, particularly in, uh, this area here, let me show you. So this here, this area here, you can see this line, oh, this line here matches up perfectly. Like the entire, the entirety of this back is, is, oh, excuse me, is uh, one to one with the drawing. The actual shoulder, one to one, this entire shape, one to one. That doesn't happen when you just reference something. No. No. You know, that's, that's, that's tracing. That's not, you know, you can be the best artist in the world and you're never going to, you know, get something one-to-one -one from just looking at it. That's that's not how that works at all. So that is, you know, undeniably traced. Before we move on and talk about the arms, the legs themselves, you know, they're, they're not traced. I mean, they're, they're referenced, I think, for sure. I think that much is obvious, but they're, they're not traced. So don't, don't even bother with the no. legs. That was not what anyone was arguing with at all. So you, you really no. don't have to, to worry about that. But let's talk about I mean, this arm. This... Go ahead, sorry. I was just going to say, even despite the fact that the, the legs and aren't specifically traced, just that general pose and foreshortening and the angle of the foot are not exactly a Toyo Taro thing that he would come up with his, in his own brain. So, right. It's not exactly in his realm of expertise, as far as we know. Yeah. Um, so let's, let's go over this arm real quick, just to really sell that. Since, again, this is the main thing that people keep saying, oh, you know, he, he just made this up. Um, no. I, I, pr I promise you I'm not in the business of manufacturing drama. That's not interesting. So let's uh, let's take this arm and let's play with it. And I'll show you what he did. So if we take this off, he separated the arm into two portions. He separated the hand and he separated the actual arm itself, the, uh, the bicep and the, the forearm. So if we uh, line up this arm real quick, bear with me. I was thinking about doing this before the stream, but I just thought there's... There's no way people are going to believe me if I don't do this. So it doesn't take live, yeah. yeah, it doesn't take much to line that up. Literally, all I did was rotate it. You can see in this section here, in particular, it's very, very obvious what was done. Um, so once he did that, he then snipped off the hand and did the same. Rotated it and lined it up. Let me do that real quick. It's very deceptively simple. It takes a surprising zero amount of effort or knowledge to trace when you just move these appendages around and make them look like a human. Yeah. You can see it just, it's, it's essentially one-to-one. -one. He changed the thumb up a little bit, changed the angle, but yeah, you can, you can see it's, uh, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty evident. Um, obviously he got rid of the wrist and, and drew his own wrist angle. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, pretty much what happened <laughs> so I, I i guess i hope that puts to bed any sort of worries here 
um, the the issue was never there was never a debate whether he traced or not. You know, he 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 traced. That's objective fact. It's it's immediately Somehow obvious. Somehow it's been a point of debate, regardless. But yeah, I mean, like I I, I don't blame people. Um, you know, nobody wants their uh, you know idol for some people. <laughs> <laughs> you know, nobody wants something you're a fan of to to come out. You you want to believe that it's it's a mistake. No. Um, so yeah, I mean, let's, let's put that to bed, but let's also then now move on and talk about, um, what exactly this means and, and whether it matters, because I think that's what, I think that's what matters most. I don't think it was ever supposed to be a thing, you know, did he, didn't he? It's about, does it matter or not? Um, I think it's important to at least acknowledge that the artist, uh, what was their name? Dexter Soy, who originally, Soy, yes. yeah, who originally drew this, uh, captain america image you know he he's, has come out and said you know it, yeah he traced it and you know he tyson did a video yesterday uh which i do recommend you go and watch it's going to be way more in depth than this stream ever is uh <laughs> gonna be so go go listen to that he spoke to olympia ollie db who is obviously one of the most amazing fan artists in the community um you know if you if you don't believe in artists like her when she comes out and says you know yes it's traced and then talks about the morals behind that then i don't think i can really help you there it's, yeah, that's the most baffling. You've got people who are arguing not only with the original artist, but with people with like tenure in this professional scene. It's baffling. Baffling, right. I say. All right, exactly. Um, so let me move on to my talking points real quick, and then we'll take some questions from the chat uh, a little bit later on. So um, I, I guess the first thing that's been thrown at me multiple times over the past couple of days is like endless tweets uh, of examples from Marvel or DC or any other Western comic of people who have also traced before. And I'm not really sure what kind of point people are trying to prove there. I don't think, I mean, you, you get taught in school, two wrongs don't make a right. I mean, you can tweet me as many examples about tracing as you want. That doesn't suddenly make it okay because it's happened in the past i think that's very very strange i mean people have sent me stuff of toriyama referencing uh, some old chinese manga um that's not a trace it's a reference but again you know it's not you know it, it doesn't make it okay is is pretty much what i'm trying to say and i feel like some people are missing that which is a bit odd um and i i, I guess i should also talk about the difference between you know homage and, and tracing um, My Hero Academia, if many of you are fans of that, um, what's the name of the, the mangaka for My Hero? Hori something or other? Anyway, he's he's done some uh, homages to uh, to Marvel comics in the past. Um, I'll find one right now if you want. Uh, Marvel, My Hero Academia. Mm, let me see. Uh, I'm gonna have to dig through my Twitter. Nope, here it is. Okay, so let me bring up my screen again. So I've been sent this, and people are going, "Well, if if you know, oh, here it is. Yeah, it was Horikoshi. I, I was right. Um, so yeah, if Horikoshi has done it before, why does it matter if Toyotaro has done it? And I feel like there's such a a difference here. Um, you know, you, you can tell that this is a homage, but there is there. You can never line up those two images. There, there are no similarities beyond sort of no. the, the general gesture of the characters. I mean, it's it's two independent images. That's you know, one is clearly based off of the other, but that that's a, that's a totally new drawing. Um, yeah, one requires the actual artistic knowledge and skill to be able to translate onto paper yourself, versus you know just tracing lines. All right, exactly. Um, so I guess that's that's one thing I just wanted to talk about since I feel like I've had so many tweets like that and I just, I don't really understand the logic there. I'm just, I'm, I'm trying not to be rude to people, but it, it was so overwhelming. I got, I lost my cool at one point, um, which was a bit embarrassing, but there was, I just had so many tweets that were, you know, they didn't make any sense to me. Um, so I, I, I guess... <laughs> I guess we should talk about homages because Toyotaro is no stranger to homages. You know, his his manga from back in the day when he was doing DBAF to the super mm -hmm. stuff, it's rare you got a chapter that didn't in some way reference Toriyama's original manga. Um, and I don't think there's any need for a moral argument over that, um, mostly because it's referencing something under the umbrella of the brand that he's writing for. So, like, all the... Even if even if it weren't um, you know okay, even if you weren't just referencing, even if you were tracing, uh, it would be a lot 
more gray it wouldn't be so black and white like this very much is because all the royalties are going to one place it's all under one umbrella um, but what we're seeing here is taking someone else's hard work tracing it changing it up just a little bit he did change the hand for the final uh v-jump thing and so then words as i'm sure you've seen but he's also then profiting off of it and that's where it becomes very black and white and not okay um i mean <laughs> as someone who's an artist as someone who knows many artists can you imagine poor dexter soy in this situation you know this guy has poured many hours into this captain marvel comic and this is not a particularly popular thing in the world uh and then this japanese artist comes along and takes his thing pretty much you know one-to-one -one, slaps it on the cover of one of the most popular magazines in japan and everyone's you know earning money off of it that's that's not okay and i and i think that's where you kind of need to draw the line yeah in in regards to things that he changed another thing that i is the final version even past the hand was altered in minor ways and that makes it okay which just isn't the case if he traces over another person's work then makes a new layer and retraces over his trace altering minor things that that, that changes ultimately it's still like the perspective the foreshortening the pose the, the everything about it is still just lifted from someone else's brain and imagination getting something like that onto paper is not just from your own brain is not an easy feat it's something that requires a lot of your own knowledge and expertise and thoughts and changing the little details when he goes over and retraces his trace is not exactly an excuse for this it's not absolving all right exactly um you know it's 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 like the that joke people make you know here let me copy your work you know just yeah that's fine just change it up a bit that's that's not okay and i i guess that's pretty much the point of this stream is is i i, I don't even think there's a debate to it you know there's it, it's just not a thing um and there, there is something i i do want to address um because a lot of people have said you know oh, at school art school what have you um you know they tell you that referencing is helpful you know you should copy things that's how you dr learn it's how you how you study things and i agree with that that's that's fine and i'll show you i mean photo references are fine i drew this uh for one of my redraw competitions on twitter uh a couple of weeks ago and i drew this based on a photo of me i i took a photo of myself and i mean it's not i didn't trace myself but i used it as a as a reference because that's a very tough angle that's fine that's that's like that's absolutely okay <laughs> <laughs> um you know th there is absolutely nothing wrong with taking a photo of yourself and working off of it there's nothing wrong with taking a stock photo as long as you you know pay for the rights and what have you even if you don't pay for the rights as long as you're not personally profiting off of it there's nothing wrong with doing that you know people study all the time you know that that's you do get taught that in art school but i'm seeing people conflate that with tracing in a commercial product and that's that's where you draw the line again that's not okay thoughts no, not at all i mean it's it's just like we said it's a matter of of course uh like we said using lots of different not only you know study methods but shortcuts uh like photo bashing or all this kind of stuff there's lots of ways that artists all the time will shortcut or use to kind of like create this pose in their mind without just closing their eyes and imagining it. But the, the fact of the matter is, and what separates this as a problem, is these artists, when they're looking at whatever it is they're referencing, referencing is the keyword, or even copying, they are looking at the image and using their objective brain to recreate it themselves. That's something that takes a crippling of this knowledge, as I've learned over the past year trying to learn how to draw, it takes it takes time, it takes effort, it takes brain power, and tracing doesn't. That's not, it's not the same. That takes the patience to make sure that your line looks like their line as you draw over it. It's it's just not equatable. It's a, it's a matter of, of if nothing else, it, to the people who took the time and effort to learn how to draw these things these really interesting visually interesting images yeah exactly it's I, I guess it's so hard to 
I guess I, I, I don't want to sound really sort of snobby and pretentious, but I guess I feel like from my perspective, looking at a lot of people who've responded to me, it feels like a lot of these people aren't artists. And you don't have to be an artist to sympathize with this situation or understand the situation. But I think it, it definitely helps when you understand just how much effort it takes to get you know to that level. Yeah, well, yeah, there's like the two sides that have been coming. There are people who aren't artists, which again, I'm not like sounding condescending, but it's, it's hard as someone who hasn't tried to like in this isn't a trace and that anyone with a modicum of a brain could just copy it as a reference i would challenge you to take a picture like this on a separate piece of paper try and copy it yourself and see how close it is it's it is very much something that takes an effort and the other side i've seen are people who are artists or claim to be artists who are saying you know this is done in the industry all the time, or this, you know, isn't a trace, you change stuff, which is the most bewildering part to me, because, again, like we said earlier, just because other people have been caught doing it before doesn't mean it's cool. Just because he changed some things or rotated the arm doesn't mean this is acceptable. Um, I saw some people that said, you know, well, the original artist isn't upset, so who cares? Well, first of all, rights holders cares. The idea of artistic integrity matters uh there's just so much to it yeah it's yeah it's... i mean like there's there's a comment in chat right now from noah who says you guys are overreacting um and i agree i mean the the, the fact that we're sat here talking yeah. about this is a massive overreaction but it, but it's a response to what happened over the past couple of days i think had Absolutely. Uh, yeah like i, I want to make this very clear like had had this come out and everyone had gone, oh, yeah, that's a trace, right, okay, you know, we get it, Toyotaro um, did something very wrong here, yeah, okay, he was under pressure, but that's a, that's over the line, that's not okay. I think everyone would have just gone, right, well, that's, that's unfortunate, let's hope it doesn't happen again, and let's move on. But the reason that this has kind of been blown up is, is because there was a big war over it. There were people who were claiming it wasn't trace, there were people who were claiming it was 100% okay, and that's just that's that's bewildering and that's why it's kind of blown up uh the way it is so let's uh let's take some stuff from the the chat right now uh people are asking me about this tokyosaurus video i haven't watched it because i have been sent screenshots from it and apparently he attacks me and he says that i was making stuff up and deleting the arm because i was trying to manufacture drama again i i kind of dealt with this indirectly at the start of the video um you know, the, I, I, I don't know what to say. You know, if, 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 that's, if that's the type of content that person makes, well, that's unfortunate he has viewers. You know, anyone with half a brain can throw that image into Photoshop and see what was done there. Like, that's, that's, not, that's not my issue. Um, yeah. I'm just going to put... Like the that, idea, that's the best I the can idea say. That it's malicious is just is very confusing. I mean, we, we are all people, both me, AJ, and Olympia, who is on my channel, we're all people that have, like pretty vehemently like protected and defended Toyotaro on numerous occasions. Uh, Olympia had the drawing panel at KCON and she spent probably, you know, 10 minutes talking about, you know, Toyotaro really has learned and how he's not someone to be hated on. It's not, none of us have a vendetta against him or anything. It's just, it's just, I mean, it's just plain to see. It's not, Right. It's not something that requires much critical thought. You just look at the image and there you are. Yeah. I mean, there's a, there's a person in chat saying, you know, he is there evidence he traced? He was just using the pose. You know, it's fine to use a pose. I mean, I, I showed you this at the start of the, the stream. You know, it's it's not just using the pose. It is 100% traced. There is there is no doubt about that at all. Um, I, do, I don't really know what else to, to say there. You know, that's, that is an obvious trace, you know. He snipped this arm yeah, and rotated it. He snipped this hand and rotated it. He altered the image, but it's still tracing what's there. Just because you moved some parts of the jigsaw around doesn't mean you didn't copy what was on the jigsaw in the first place. You know, that's that's 100% fact. Um, you know, it's, you know, the poses aren't copyrighted. Of course not. Toyotaro could have taken this pose and done his own take on it, but he didn't. He He tore this one apart, traced it tore it apart in a very minimal way as well so <laughs> yeah yeah it's it's like and again this it's just something actually a matter of opinion and the amount that we're talking about this like we said is not because it's that big of a deal it is 
the reaction that has come from the community. I know when me, AJ, and Olympia were talking about this in private, when it was just kind of coming out, like anybody being confused was just bewildering it to us. Yeah. It was like, it was, just, it was just this thing that overflowed. And so eventually you just kind of have to put a yeah, cap let, on. Let me interrupt you a sec. There's Pokédex holder in the chat saying, that's not the real one. It was altered. Again, I, this is what we what I addressed at the, start of the, at the start of the stream. I just did this live. It wasn't altered. This is not... <laughs> let me explain it again because people got here late. Look. I'm gonna, let me even just grab the original because I'm, I'm just going to... Maybe I should just redo it for the sake of people who weren't here. All he did... This is the original. You can put that arm back in. Doesn't matter. I, I had it in there at the start. You cut out the arm. You rotate it a little bit. You cut out the hand. You rotate a little bit. It fits. Let's not listen to people like Tokyosaurus and everyone else who was claiming I altered the, the image on Twitter the other day. That is absolute nonsense. And again, the low, like anything below the torso Oops. is not switch what screens. We're I forgot to switch here. screens, but whatever. You know, you get the idea. This is not, this is not altered. I cut this out myself. <laughs> I guess. You made it yourself. Yeah, yeah. like it's me. Uh, put it up on your refrigerator. Yeah, I should. Oh man, what an adventure! My bad. I didn't. I didn't have the screen up. Sorry. I'm, not, I'm I'm new to this streaming thing. Um, You're old new. Yeah, my bad. I suck. What are the alternatives that he could have done? Have the image up in front of him and draw his own thing from it. You know. Precisely. It's and again, that's kind of why I mentioned that earlier. So the alternative to tracing, if you're just really trying to replicate an image, is what most people. Are which sounds the same, but it's very dim different. Tracing is overlaying your layer over an original image and just replicating the lines, or maybe replicating any of the lines. Yeah, look at this and guy. You, you, you did edit the pictures to make it match. Yes, because that's what Toyotaro did. Right, precisely. It's it's, it's not an excuse. Like, you, you just because AJ you is not just the because only you one yeah, like just because you took the image cut out the arm and the hand and rotated it a little bit and then drew over it doesn't make it any different you still traced it absolutely not i don't i Anyone... really this is this is the weird bizarre nonsensical logic that i've seen on twitter constantly over the past few days from random people and it's baffling it doesn't make any sense it's very, like come it's on very please confusing. and I, I i i don't want to open this chat up and be rude to people but for the love of god please it's it's very confusing. And again, like the alternative, even if you just wanted to straight up copy it, copying would be, again, what we were talking about. You've got a piece of paper, you're looking at the image, you're replicating it with your pencil, just looking at it best you can. That, that is close enough to a reference that that's not something that would really raise an eyebrow. That's homage. This isn't. Yeah. Even It doesn't matter how much he altered it. It doesn't matter that he owns Photoshop or whatever editing software that he uses. He can move the arms around as much as he want. If his lines are another person's lines, then that's the same. Just like, that's, this, it's kind of baffling. Talk, we joked about Yamamoto and how this is just another Dragon Ball plagiarism type thing. Yeah. It would be like people defending Yamamoto and saying that the only thing that's similar is the melody. And that right. the, the rhythm is different or he used a different instrument or he changed, you know, the timbre of this. Like, sure. He changed it, but it doesn't matter. He still took the thing and copied it and made it his thing. It's not... Yeah. All right, exactly. Um, here, I'm just going to do this again for the sake of people who weren't here earlier because I feel like it was the most damning bit of evidence and, and, and people are, you know, again, bringing up, oh, you know, you, you deleted the torso. You did this. Um, if you want to talk while I do this, feel free. Say again. I said, if you want to talk while I quickly, you know, show people what he did, feel free. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, as we're going over this again, it's just worth noting for anyone that missed it that A, the legs are not traced. That much is clear. He changed up the perspective uh, a little bit, changed up the pose, uh, which is fine and dandy. The, the foot, pretty damn similar, which is another thing altogether but the, the fact of the matter is and another thing that i've heard a lot of people say that people seem to be confused about is there seems to be some sort of 
conception among the general populace or some amount of the populace that in order for something to be a trace, to be called a trace, it has to be the the, the whole image in its t entirety recreated, which is is just simply not true. That's that's not how it works at all. You can uh, genuinely <laughs> something that me and AJ did a lot back in the day when we were really first learning how to draw, and we were too lazy. If we were doing a full body, and let's say we're drawing a character, and he has a hand. Uh, and we need to draw the hand, but we don't want to be asked to do it. We would take pictures of our hand and trace over that just because we're lazy pieces of garbage. And A, that's our own thing, so I'm not saying we need to be, you know, condemned because we traced anything. But let's say, let's say instead of taking pictures of our hand, we took a picture from, you know, let's say Marvel Comics. And let's say instead of doing this in our living room, we were doing it for you know, pay for the V-Jump cover. Just because it is only a hand that got traced, that's still stealing, that is still stealing someone else's efforts, knowledge, and hard work, and passing it off as your own for a profit. It's still not an acceptable thing. It doesn't, you don't have to trace an entire thing for it to be tracing, which is something that I've heard is a very common misconception. All right. So I've just shown it on the screen again. You know, he, he traced the body. He cut out the arm, rotated the arm, traced along this. You can literally see the outlines that he's traced here. And then he took this hand, moved a little, rotated it, and then just switched up the angle just a little bit to make his final composition, which the he then drew over. That's still tracing. Right. Just because, just because you rotated the hand and the wrist doesn't line up with the rest of the arm, like... Toyotaro draws for a living. He's not incapable of filling in the space between the part of the forearm that remains and the wrist. All right. Like that's not that's not made up. That's not something that he didn't do. It's there. You see those lines and tangents perfectly replicated. It's not it's just not a matter of opinion, really, which sounds elitist or condescending or something. I mean, it's just the way it is. <laughs> All right. Exactly. Like there's just I, I, I don't know what else to say for the people who doubt this. I don't think there's absolutely any way to convince people who don't believe that it's uh, that it's tracing at this point, which is so, so strange. I didn't expect the, to, yeah. to have this stream be a debate as to whether he did or not. Like, he that, that is 100% what he did. Talking about the matter of why does this matter outside of artistic integrity, there's... Another thing altogether that makes this matter, just as Dragon Ball fans, in that you have someone who is the leader of the Dragon Ball Super manga. Like, this is a big property, and this is a manga for the big property. He is the proprietor of it. And, I mean, obviously, you know, just the general history of art in Dragon Ball is generally quite good and impressive. Obviously, Toriyama had chops and all that jazz. So when you've got someone who is the sole proprietor of this, who has trouble doing something on their own without tracing, or has trouble with doing a wide variety of poses other than three, when you've got someone who has the same five, like, surprised look turning around and looking at the yeah. page, like, five times in a chapter, this, someone who hasn't, I don't know, who hasn't studied enough to have this mental is is negatively affecting just Dragon Ball fans. Is anybody who wants to read the manga, if they wanted to see something visually interesting, it's they're being bottlenecked. So this is a lack of artistic integrity because of a lack of studying is something that matters outside of morals. It's something that matters to the viewers. Yeah. There's a guy here who said you cut out the legs in your original post to make it look like he traced the whole thing. No, I didn't. This is the problem with people taking uh, tweets removing the context and just posting the image around without the context in my original post i very specifically said what he did the reason the legs aren't in there is because they're not traced in my original tweet i'll pull it up i said he traced body i missed the <laughs> he traced the body and hand and slightly ro slightly rotated the arm beyond homage for sure just because someone took this and posted it around everywhere that doesn't mean i was lying that's 
people's fault for ignoring context of the original tweet. That's right. that's that's an that's an issue with the internet. That's a separate subject. That's that's not my fault. And another thing that I just remembered, talking about the validity of tracing, just as a last final capstone on that. One other thing that I've heard people say, so like the front of the chest, you've got uh, Goku's gi on top of it, right? And those lines aren't exactly the same. Again, Toyotaro isn't literally a child. He's not artistically incapable. Goku's gi is looser than the skin tight cap suit. So when he traces, when he traces this musculature, Instead of doing exactly that, obviously he's going to make those lines a little bit looser around the chest because Goku's not wearing, you know, spandex. That doesn't that doesn't mean anything. Just because there's a slight difference, just because something was slightly changed to match the character, doesn't mean that he's absolved. If anything, it means that he's making at least a little bit sure that he, you know, doesn't get caught, which obviously... All right, Man, exactly. was he bold for posting for submitting this for the V jump cover. So yeah, that's yeah. I imagine he's probably <laughs> under a little bit of fire right now. There are so many questions yeah. here about Master Media. I don't have anything to say. Like, you know, I I met Master at KameaCon. Um, you know, I, I I said to him, you know, I I have no issues with you as a person, but you know, I I am morally against what you do, and that's that's you know that's that's the end of that. I. I have nothing else to say there. I have no personal beef with him. Um, you know, obviously I don't support or agree with his content, but that's that's it. You know, there's no there's no drama. I I, I don't know no. why the chat's so obsessed with that. Um, Differing views don't mean hateful people. All right. Of course, the original artist. What does he say? Uh, we mentioned this slightly earlier. The artist has said uh, has said yeah. Um, it's it's obviously traced. He kind of is flattered in a way, but at the same time, he also said, "Eh, I don't, I don't know." So, um, yeah. AJ, there can you talk about the? Sorry, go. On. I was going to say, there's also definitely an implication of him being at least a little bit upset, despite being cordial about it. Because oh yeah, <laughs> he's been pretty active about it. He, uh, he, he tweet tweeted the Olympia's video. Yeah, I was going to say, like, Tyson and Olympia <laughs> broke down exactly what we've spoken about in this stream and the original artist posted that video so you know it's not the guy's obviously you know kind of stepping around and, and saying uh you know what he what he needs to say without directly saying it it's, it's pretty obvious right. um uh hold on i had a question here uh can you talk about the difference between tracing in comics slash manga versus bank animation reused whatever in the dragon ball super anime uh again this ties it back to what i was talking about earlier with with legalities um you know if if drawings that were done under the umbrella company toei animation are reused later on they have perfect you know they have all the right in the world to do that if if toyotaro had traced you know again we said this earlier if toyotaro had traced something from his dragon ball af days which he has he did that very early on in the super manga in fact that would have been yeah. fine if toyotaro wanted to trace something from the original dragon ball manga it might annoy fans but that's not that's fine it's it's all under that umbrella the rights there this is the 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 difference where the line is is where you are taking something from another artist from another company no credit and no royalties given to that artist precisely uh should it's... should toyo fire oh, sorry should shueisha fire toyotaro <laughs> no i don't i don't think so no. i think he just uh, i think he just it, he he has tweeted many times over the past couple of months that um he uh he's been struggling with time so i don't i you know i i i understand why he did it even though it's it's not okay and i don't think he should uh he should lose, you know, his ability to, to work on this manga because of this. Unless, of course, like the Yamamoto situation, it turns out that there it are... becomes a pattern. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So it, it will depend on the future. Um, I, th I think there should be a statement, personally. There won't be, I'm sure, but I think there, there should no. be at least. Um, so, yeah, I... I I'm not sure what else to say. Anybody got any more questions before we wrap things up here? I didn't want this to be long. I feel like I've said everything I've had to say, and uh, you know, any anyone who doesn't you know believe it now or, or you know, yeah, it is. I, like we said, in <laughs> truth, it's a 30 second conversation that right. has to be blown up to 30 minutes, just because there's a lot of confusion in the fandom and a lot of like misinformation flying about, and so here we are. All right. Uh, are there any examples of Dragon Ball homage, not Trace? Oh, yeah. They're all over the Super Manga. 
Um, mm -hmm. Let me find some. Uh, there's a bunch. Yeah, oh god, there's loads. I've got some on fire. On file. Blah. File. <laughs> on fire. <laughs> They're on fire. Uh, yeah, see. so here's one. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let me zoom that in a bit. Yeah, uh, so he bo he borrowed um, Gohan versus Frieza for his uh, flashback for uh, Trunks versus Dabra, or what do they call him in the dub? Dabura. Dabura, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, that's Get one example. Fire. There's also, um, God, what else was there? There was one when they were training from the uh, the Saiyan arc when they're, you know, they're still in the cliff doing their iconic poses. I mean, that's, again, that's homage. It's fine. It's whatever. That's definitely, that is proper homage. Yeah, That exactly. is something that is recognizable and is obviously being called back to and is within the same rights holders it's th there couldn't be less wrong with that exactly exactly um but it togashi traced in the past what do you think about that oh yeah no uh so togashi if anyone doesn't know he used to trace um photos again it's one of those things where it's not okay like we we're saying with toyotaro it's it nobody i don't think anyone agrees that it's okay uh, but of course, we understand it because Togashi has had horrendous health issues up against the schedule. Mm. That's not fun. Again, Toyotaro, horrendous schedule right now. Not the most competent mangaka in the world compared to, you know, professionals in Shonen Jump. So, you know, it, fair enough. I, I get it. That doesn't make it okay, but, you know, we understand it. That's that's essentially the bottom line here. Uh, what about the more, Dragon Ball Super scene? What about, okay, cool. I'll show them in a sec. What about the Dragon Ball Super scene scene that was copied frame by frame from the Avengers? Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's not copied. It's referenced. It's very much a different... Uh, it's, it's, it's How do I put this? It has its own timing. It has its own smears. It is a very... I, I guess that's the kind of thing that's up for debate because it obviously it obviously follows the the motion of the original work. It isn't tracing it, but it is essentially going one to one with how it moved. So again, that depends on your viewpoint. Um, personally, yeah, that's personally, definitely agree. Yeah. yeah, that's that's great. Um, I'm I guess I'm personally okay with that just because I feel like it was transformative enough. But I'm not going to fight someone because um, because you know they they. Didn't, don't agree with it. You know, it's not rotoscope, like someone said. It's not. It, it's it's different in that sense. Um, what else we got? Remember Greg Land? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. He, uh... Yeah, I don't know why people don't defend him. I guess because it's just so obvious. Why do people bring up other artists who justify tracing? Um, yeah, I mean, I, again, mentioned this earlier. Um, you know, it's... Two wrongs don't make a right. Well, not only that, but I, I also think it's because of what you were talking about earlier, where people don't want to see the people that they look up to doing something wrong. So searching another reputable source to say it's not wrong as a rationalization isn't something that's psychologically unheard of. But the fact of the matter is that it's not something that is common or acceptable in that field. And right. It's just about as simple as it gets. Yeah. I think one thing I want to talk about um, very briefly before we wrap things up, unless there's a question that's pretty good and I, we didn't cover earlier, is that I guess another reason that this has blown up is because it's kind of turned into a, uh, a manga versus anime debate, which is something that's just, Ugh. I mean, that's been, that's been, <laughs> it's been around since it, it began. Um, you know, there, there are people who adore Toyotaro, there are people who hate Toyotaro, and those people are kind of jumping at each other, and it's very hard to find sort of, sort of a, a measured conversation in, in the center, um, and that's not what it should be. Uh, Therese made a really good um, tweet thread about this earlier today that was pretty insightful. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's people kind of not putting aside their own views on the product to sort of look at it objectively. Is correcting tracing? No, 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 no. It's, <laughs> you know, there, there were... <laughs> the fuck is that question? I think he was joking. I think it's someone from my server. No, correcting is no, not God. tracing. <laughs> <laughs> is something like Murata's assistance tracing backgrounds from photos wrong as well? It depends. Did they take the photos themselves? Did they pay for the rights to use those photos? If so, that is fine. If they stole those photos from Google Images, then that's not okay. 
or if they trace them from another manga or anime or anything. All right. Again, it's just it's passing off something that isn't yours. That, that that's it. That's the whole thing. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> Can't be like both the anime and manga. It's just more Dragon Ball. Yes, of course, absolutely. Yeah. Most anime backgrounds are traced nowadays. Yep. Well, not most, but there, there's definitely oh, yeah. a, a lot of cases <laughs> of taking photos and, and filtering them. One of my favorite shows this season is Comic Girls, which if people are looking for a very funny, cutesy show to watch, go and watch that. But uh, it's background art. Um, a lot of it is, is filtered photos that the, the team went and took. But again, that's okay because, you know, they, they, uh, they did it themselves. That's, that's, the, that's the line. Would you say that this issue is being really drawn out? Drawn out. I was going to bring that up. Look, why, do we, uh, why do we even let Wes. Wes in this chat? <sighs> why? We bet have bad friends. Okay. I guess, well, this is, this is a nice one to wrap up on, I think. Uh, Invader Shadow 42 says, Thing is, he traced the upper body in the original sketch, but when it came to making the final piece, Toyotaro drew it again, taking reference from the trace sketch. Is that as bad? I would say, yeah. I don't think that... Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, you, you took your... Just because you... That's exactly what I talked about while you were redoing it. It's, right. You're still taking the skeleton of the thing that isn't yours, that you traced, and retracing it in your, in your own way. The, the things that require expertise are still taken from. The extreme foreshortening and interesting dynamic pose and... Uh, the way the shoe just shows up a little bit to imply different things, and everything is still taken. Just because you retrace it again and add your own flair, that's it's it's not that's not something that changes. Well. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to find the uh, Avengers thing. I had it well, saved yeah, no. somewhere. Uh, you know what oh, people? Oh, the one ten cut or the yeah. one hundred cut? I can't find it. It's, it's, you'll watch it and you go, oh, right, okay, I get it. But it's, it's nothing, it's nothing like this. Um, no, 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 and again, again, even if, and we were talking about the fact that some of the timing is changed and there's, you know, thing, transformative thing like spears and stuff. Even if those weren't the case and they didn't really add anything and the timing is one to one, that's definitely a gray area, but that still requires, you know, ar artistic ability. That's, it would be completely different if you could, like, take a picture from Avengers, make it half transparent, overlay it over Goku and Kale, and suddenly it's the same thing. One right, one. right, exactly. Parts so, of it are the exact same tangents. Like, that's different. Yeah. And I mean, I, I have a good example of this from uh, something I'm involved in uh, Moscow X's Dragon Ball R&R. &R. Uh, right. In the opening, uh, we have a reference to uh, the We Got a Power opening from Dragon Ball Z, where uh, Goten and Trunks fight. Um, it's not traced, but it's referenced. It's like the Avengers situation. Um, so, again, that's, that's, that's more of a grey area. So, let's see. Yeah. Now yeah. we know. Cool. So I think that's pretty much everything I have to cover. I don't think there's much more to say. Um, yeah, it was unprofessional. It's disappointing that people are defending unprofessionalism. Um, yeah, I think there is more objectivity to it than a lot of people think. And I'm not just saying that because, you know, I feel one way. <laughs> it, it really is very, very clear. Uh, you know, if you, if you don't believe me, please, you know, just take the two images and do it yourself. GIMP is free, right? You can do it in that. You don't need Photoshop. Um, you can see for yourself. Yeah. It's it's very, very clear. Whether, you, whether you're okay with it or not, um, I mean, that's down to you. Really, I don't care. <laughs> don't really care. Yeah. I just I just want people to be honest and, and actually acknowledge what, what happens. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Thank Beautiful. you. Beautiful. Yeah, cool. Thanks for listening. Thanks for coming by, everyone. I, I, I was going to do my own video on this um, but it, it felt like something that, uh, it, it felt like something that needed to be live because it's a conversation. And I, I feel like whatever I would have made that video into would have ended up with all the kinds of comments that we've addressed over the past like 10 minutes or so reading the chat. Felt like something that I did. Yeah. I was going to say, you've been dealing with that on your video for the past couple of times. Oh man, it's rough. It's devolved. Yeah. 
So again, just to clarify, you know, it's I, I don't think me and Tyson are losing sleep over what Toyotaro did. You know, it's it's whatever. No. Yeah, it's 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 a shame. It wasn't that surprising, honestly. Um, yeah, cool. Be objective. And uh, God, what else? I was going to announce something. It's okay. It's okay to like someone as an artist or a person, even if they did something wrong. I remembered what I was going to announce for people watching Go the on. stream. Uh, there's a there's another breakdown coming soon. Uh, yeah. It's not the Takeo Ide video. I promised. I'm sorry. That'll come. <laughs> that'll come at some point. I told you when it was going to come out. I just didn't. I didn't see the year. So we'll see Which about year? that. Uh, All right. Um, no, I'm planning on doing a uh, a movie breakdown. That's the uh, that's the hint. You, you you'll find out what movie soon. But that's it yeah. for now. Um, I will see you guys soon. There will be a video at some point in the next few days. Don't know if it'll necessarily be and the breakdown I just spoke about. Yes, go go watch Tyson's video. If you want like a a comprehensive thing to link to people, go ahead and just uh, throw that throw that around. Um, I've retweeted it. If you can't find it, I can post it in the chat now. If that makes life easier. But I think that's yep. pretty much... Oh, excuse me. I think that's pretty much all I have to say. Let me find it real quick. Uh, da, 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 da. When did you post it? What Yesterday. Day? 23rd. Okay. I'll shoot you. Uh, there we go. I found it. Because you didn't tweet it with an image, you amateur. God. Whatever. Whatever. Right. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Bam. Right, there you go. Oh, that didn't. No, oh, that worked. Okay, cool. I'll spam it. I'll spam in my own chat. Great. <laughs> cool. So yeah, if you if you want a, a more comprehensive look at it, um, you know, by all means, watch that. Link that around. Uh, Tokyosaurus, do your research next time. And cool. I will see you guys in a video soon. Bye. Bye.